Hello Twin Flames! This week we are doing a very special Twin Flame reading all about the runner and chaser dynamic. So if you're experiencing your Twin Flame running from you, then this is the perfect reading for you. You're going to find out why your Twin Flame runner is running from you, what the runner feels about you, and the last card is what you can do to get your Twin Flame to stop running from you. Because yes, you actually can take a few steps to completely heal the runner-chaser dynamic from your Twin Flame union. And we're going to find out exactly what those are for you in this video. So let's begin with the first card of our reading, which is why is the runner running? All right, then we have the card ask for help. Specifically, I get the message that your twin flame is running because they feel unsupported, like there's no help. There's this helpless, powerless feeling. And if you've noticed that your twin flame has not awakened to your twin flame connection, this is related to that. When you first meet your twin flame and you're not aware of how twin flames work, you just meet this person, you have this super intense connection with them and you can't really explain it, it might feel like you're going crazy. So this is a call for you to show deeper compassion for your twin flame if they're running from you because chances are they might not really know what's going on yet. And they're going through their own awakening journey, which of course you can speed up by speeding up your own awakening journey. Coming to the realization that your twin flames does not end your twin flame journey, it's not the end of your awakening, because there's even more beautiful things and blessings and realizations unfolding for you. And I see many people who complain about being awakened in their twin flame connection, like, oh, I have to do all this inner work and I wouldn't have to otherwise. Actually, you would still have to do some form of inner work since you are called to a spiritual path. You were called to the spiritual journey because you were meant to awaken. This is an experience that you manifested because you desired to be free of all this suffering, all this pain, all this heartache. And here's why you met your twin flame, so that you would, so that you would awaken even deeper and be free of all those things. Awaken to your true divine nature. So you would have to do some form of inner work anyway, because you called in a spiritual awakening. And this is amazing. Purifying your consciousness of all this ego crap. It's amazing. But also, if you are aware of your twin flame connection, this is such a huge gift compared to not being aware of it, because you can actually do something about it. When your twin flame triggers you, you know that all you need to do is just heal in that space and boom, you can feel the relief immediately. It's much more compassionate and um, yeah, you have a much easier time navigating this journey when you are aware of it. So if you have been feeling upset about that, I invite you to shift how you view being awakened to the twin flame journey. Because it's actually a huge gift and a huge blessing that you have called in. And even if it feels confusing right now and like it's all pain and stuff, I promise you it clears up and it gets better. The pain was already there. It's just coming up to be released now. And as you release it, you will no longer experience it anymore. You will experience a much lighter, much more free and joyful reality. The second message I get for why the Twin Flame Runner is running is there's a phrase in the card. What do you really need? So some of you need to hear this. Um, your Twin Flame Runner is running because you've been needy. And I'll explain why this happens. So Twin Flames work very differently compared to soulmate relationships. You don't get what you need from your Twin Flame. And you don't get what you need from outside of yourself. Your Twin Flame's primary purpose is to show you that you are your source of love. So everything you need, you can receive from yourself and from your connection to the divine. Your connection to the divine is your source of all your romance, all the love you want to experience, all the abundance, all the joy and happiness. These things don't come from your twin flame. However, if you cultivate those things and receive them from your relationship with the divine, you actually receive them from your connection to your twin flame as well, because your twin flame is going to mirror all that love and all that romance and all those beautiful things. And actually, it's really cool how the artwork in the card um, really symbolizes that. We see beautiful divine feminine who is asking for help from the divine father. Father God, the creator, whichever word you, pref you prefer, right? She's asking for help. She's asking for support and she's asking for the love that she desires. And it's perfectly safe and natural to ask the divine for this love because it will never be denied to you. It's actually your divine birthright. So 
If you feel like you've been needing love, go ask the divine for it and make the choice in your heart to receive it from the divine and it will just come flooding in. So the lessons we get from this card is to not be needy with your twin flame. Your twin flame is not your source, but your relationship with the divine is. And that maybe your twin flame is feeling a bit unsupported, a bit overwhelmed with the whole twin flame thing. So showing some compassion is very important right now. Even if it's hard, because it is painful when your twin flame is running from you. However, showing them unconditional love and compassion is going to pull them closer to you even faster. So, card number two. What does the runner feel about you? Let's see. Exposing the runner. <laughs> All right. Act as if your partner is here. So, very clear message that your twin flame desires you, loves you. They are even making space in their life, in their apartment to manifest you, to call you in. And we have a lot of butterflies in this card. Even the couple kind of looks like they have butterfly wings. So there's a lot of transformation. So your twin flame is going through a massive transformation and they really desire for you to be part of it. They really desire to manifest you. But you know, maybe they're feeling a bit confused and lost as per the ask for help card. But your twin flame running from you is not a sign that they do not love you. It's not rejection, it's not abandonment. However, if you have any patterns within your consciousness where you've been rejecting yourself or not showing yourself love or running from love even because you have some limiting beliefs or fears about love, then your twin flame is going to mirror that by running from you. And the surefire way to stop the runner teaser dynamic is by healing those things. Go within yourself and find exactly why you feel like you need to taste love. Is it maybe that you don't feel good enough to just receive it? Is it that you feel like maybe you need to earn someone's love? Or that you need to compensate in all those different ways? Your twin flame is never going to want you to taste them. In fact, it's a very repelling vibration. So what you need to do is uh, identify those beliefs and root them out from within yourself. And finally, what do you need to do to get your twin flame to stop running from you? So this is the most important one. Let's see what next steps you can take to heal the runner chaser dynamic once and for all. Focus on love. So it's not just pour all your love on your twin flame, just taste them around, none of that. It's focusing your love on yourself. We spoke about it briefly, about rooting out those beliefs that are causing separation from your twin flame. And this is what's so important about this, is to first go within when it comes to your twin flame. You can't really work it out by talking as you would in a normal, regular uh, soulmate relationship. It doesn't work that way. You're not two different beings trying to communicate and trying to form a relationship. You are one being. And if you're not in harmony, that means that there is a misunderstanding somewhere. And this misunderstanding is some limiting belief, some upset, some energetic block. And you become aware of all those by feeling your feelings and aligning yourself to the vibration of union. Specifically, an excellent tool to do that is the mirror exercise. And the entire body of work of the teachings of union is designed to help you align your vibration to the vibration of union. If you would like to learn more, I have linked an introductory free e-course in the description of this video that will help you get started and test it out for yourself. This work is really transformative and it helped me magnetize my twin flame after years of no contact. It's really powerful just focusing on yourself and healing. You don't even need to do anything outside of yourself to manifest your twin flame. This is how powerful your vibration and your choice is. Focusing on self-love also means finding things that fill you with purpose and doing those. You don't attract your twin flame by waiting for them. In fact, that only keeps you stuck in waiting energy. It brings even more waiting. You manifest your twin flame by filling your cup up, living a life that you really enjoy, having fun, being aligned with your purpose. And if you haven't discovered it yet, then go and discover it. That's your next step. But this is how you magnetize your twin flame. You don't need to look a certain way or act a certain way. These are all soulmate relationship games. All you need to do is live a very fulfilling life. Continue the steps you've been taking to manifest your dreams. You don't have to choose between your twin flame and uh, living a full, beautiful life. And if you would like even more support with manifesting your twin flame, then I can help you with that. I'm a certified Ascension coach and I help twin flames come into harmonious union. And I've also helped many twin flames heal the runner teaser dynamic in their union, heal communication blocks in their union. So if you're experiencing that, don't hesitate to reach out. 
and ask for support and together we can get clear on the next steps for you specifically. There's so much support available for you on your twin flame journey so you don't have to struggle with it alone. It can be an easy and fun experience instead of a painful slow process. So this was all I had for you this week. Dear Twin Flames, thank you so much for watching this reading and if you would like a personal reading, I have the link to those in the description of this video. See you next week.